Society needs to address toxic masculinity, Benedict Cumberbatch says. So thanks, <laughs> thanks, Benedict. So yeah, he's he's got a new film that addresses this topic. So he's he's mouthing off and he's saying, um, men just have to shut up and listen, apparently, and we need to fix the men. So it, this kind of stuff really winds me up. It's sort of privileged showbiz dorks telling men <laughs> how to behave. We have Robert Webb from Peep Show. We've got Benedict Cumberbatch. They're all telling men that we're bad. And it started to really annoy me because, actually, yeah, maybe we do need to listen, but certainly women need to listen as well. Everyone could do with listening a bit more. And you just see this attack on men. Yeah. I'm kind of sick. Also, his industry is the problem, not men. The Me Too movement was a Hollywood thing. To some degree, comedy industry, not great either. But it's not an issue with men. You haven't got, like, an IT guy doing a Me Too. It's not, it's not average men that are doing these you things. You do get it in other, in other industries. You get it. Any, but anywhere where there's power and gatekeepers. It's not all men. No, what yeah. I'm trying to say is it's a bit rich for Hollywood stars to be saying, hey, guys, men, you need to sort yourselves out. It's like, maybe sort out your own industry, which is incredibly yeah. corrupt. Also, to me, look at the rise of Jordan Peterson. Some people say he's just saying sort of trite homilies, but you see how massive he became just from supporting and listening to young men and, and saying, yeah. you know, trying to give them some help. So I get really annoyed when I see men in sort of powerful positions dissing men and just saying, oh, we're all to blame. Well, and we just, need to just this phrase, toxic masculinity, because it's just used to describe men who are aggressive and good at fighting, but they're only seen as bad because we haven't had bears and Nazis and Vikings for the last 50 years. Like, you know there's only a certain amount of oil and internet left, and then we're going to descend into this Mad Max dystopia. And then the Vikings will smell weakness, they'll come back and start men. Like, what are you going to do if there's no toxic masculine men left to fight the Vikings? You're going to get all these non-toxic men to, like, you know, right. like, make an online petition at twigs. So your it's argument is we need a certain amount of toxic men to defend our borders. Kind of the argument that he, Jack Nicholson made in that, in that movie. I don't he, know what movie... When he you're... shouted, you can't handle the truth, he's saying you need guys like me out on the front line in the army. Well, yeah, no, I mean, we do need some toxic masculine men. I don't That's... think, I don't think uh, the Dover. traits... I don't think the traits that are seen as toxic in men are actually that toxic. Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. thought you were making a, a bold bid for toxic masculine. I'm saying we're not toxic. Yeah, but you turned it into this anti-immigration thing. I'm not only anti-immigration <laughs> against Nazis and I didn't, Vikings. I didn't, I think mean, I didn't mean anti-immigration. I meant that you, you, it was you that did that. You said we need to fight Vikings. Yeah. OK, You're... I told you <laughs> that we have got the leading toxic <laughs> male experts on the panel and they have delivered full toxicity. <laughs>